Live at 10, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are Mississippi's presidential picks. I'm Megan West. And I'm Ryan Houston. Hillary Clinton beat Senator Bernie Sanders in a big way. Donald Trump defeated Senator Ted Cruz by over 10%. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons is live at the Hilton on the county line where Trump supporters gathered to watch their candidate win. Scott. Yeah, the Trump supporters having a party upstairs, but the media not involved. Still a big night for Donald Trump supporters. One of their campaign spokespersons come, came down to talk to us. My goodness, no. Our, our hope was to get 50% plus one vote. That's the goal. And, uh, that's, and it looks like hopefully we can hang on to that. We're back and forth over that 50% line. They say they weren't looking for a landslide tonight, just a good victory. Bringing in Kenneth Townsend. Millsap's political science professor, first of all, your reaction to the vote drive? I'd say it's more or less what I expected. I was looking at how Louisiana performed in Alabama, and we're somewhere in the middle. Where did the delegates break down in a vote like that? So on the Republican side, there are 40 delegates to go around, and Trump is going to be just shy of 50 percent, it looks like. So he'll get, it almost, it looks almost certain that he'll get 20 delegates out of the 40, and then Cruz will probably get another 20. Is this race still, uh, for lack of a better description, undecided? On the Republican side, yes, it is. Trump did well tonight. He's done well in Michigan and here in Mississippi. We've got a couple more still to, still to come later tonight. But yeah, it's undecided. Trump still has a majority of Republicans not on his side, and he's still got a fair bit of opposition uh, from mainstream Republican candidates. And so it's going to be interesting to see how these next few weeks play out.